My name's uh, Ian Ridgway. I teach at the Kellett School here in Hong Kong. I'm also playing for the Hong Kong national team, 15 aside coat. So the reason I, uh, I got into to rugby uh, as a sport was due to my late uncle Leslie. He was a big part of my life growing up and it was just something I'd always wanted to do, was to follow in his footsteps playing rugby. I think he, he knew my potential in, within rugby because of my size as a youngster and my strength and he organised a lift for me. Uh, so I was 11 years old and my first pickup picked me up from my house, took me up to rugby training and I, I never looked back. When I was at university, uh, I was fortunate enough to play for a rugby club called Bedford Blues. As my uh, career progressed with them, as I was playing, getting better, it wasn't just me, but there was other boys from the university as well. It became apparent that there could be a possibility that we could turn our backs on our university course and focus purely on rugby. This would mean giving up two years of, of work that I'd already done on my, what would be a four year a Bachelor of Education teaching degree, which would then enable me to be a teacher of physical education. Should I give up my dream of being a teacher uh, to follow another dream to be a professional rugby player? The pros and cons, teaching always came out on top. Uh, it's something that I, I love doing, I knew I would keep doing for a number of years and would hopefully lead me to, uh, to travel abroad and to, to live abroad. And here I am now in Hong Kong, so for me, it was most definitely the, uh, the right decision. And there one morning was the job for a maternity cover at Kellett School here in Pop Fulham. I took my chances and applied for it and then I got an interview to cover for one term. I was willing to take that risk, giving up my full-time job at this local international school to just teach for, for one term at Kellett for me was worth it. At the end of the term, I, I, I think I'd done my job and I, I think the school wanted me to, wanted me to stay. Unfortunately, there was, there was no position for me, so I had to say goodbye to Kellett. So from Christmas through till June, and it got to a point where it was getting quite serious. The, the option of, of going home, going back to the UK, was really becoming the only option for me. And I was actually on my way one early morning. I was on the, one of the first trains, and I was on my way into Central. Then I remember my phone going, I looked at my phone, didn't recognise the number, and I answered the phone and I, I recognised the voice, it was Anne McDonald. Playing for Hong Kong is obviously a great privilege and something that I, uh, I put my heart and soul into. But then on the other side, I've got my teaching career and I've got my obligations to, to Kellett as a PE teacher. That is the most important thing to me. Being part of the Hong Kong rugby team is a great privilege and we're exposed to great coaching. We've got some superb coaches uh, within the Hong Kong setup. Being coached by these people is brilliant for me as a teacher, it's brilliant for me as a, as a PE teacher and a rugby coach. I can take the, the ethos of these coaches, take the drills that these coaches show us, the enthusiasm, the motivation, the way they explain things at the very top international level and I can bring these into my lessons and into my coaching sessions. As a rugby player and as a, uh, a teacher, I've experienced the winning and losing on both sides as a coach, as a teacher and as a player. For me, I'll always choose the win, the experience, the feeling of uh, winning as a coach. As a coach, however, you spend a long time with your players, coaching them, trying to teach them the style of rugby you want them to play, uh, and you see them develop from beginners up to what could hopefully be experienced rugby players. When they experience losses, I have a simple, simple saying for them, and that is we, we have to experience defeat to appreciate victory. So we have to experience these losses to appreciate the victories and use that, that feeling to keep us going, to keep us driving, to keep us motivated to, to win the next game.